Welcome back to our channel. Hi, I'm Emma. In today's video, we're discussing erectile dysfunction, a topic often misunderstood but affecting many men worldwide. It's common and knowing its symptoms can lead to effective management. Our discussion focuses on symptoms that may indicate a predisposition to erectile dysfunction. Recognizing these signs, seeking timely medical help, and understanding your body can prevent the condition from worsening. A significant number of men, regardless of age or background, experience it. This information serves not to alarm, but to assure you that you're not alone. It's not just physical, it also affects your self-esteem and life quality. We believe in spreading awareness, breaking down the stigma, and promoting open conversation. Do subscribe and stay with us as we delve into the science and symptoms of this common, yet often misunderstood condition. Erectile dysfunction can be a sensitive topic, but it's one that needs attention. It's a common condition that affects the sexual health and overall well-being of countless individuals globally. But what exactly is erectile dysfunction? Simply put, erectile dysfunction, or ED, is the inability to achieve or maintain an erection sufficient for satisfactory sexual performance. Now, it's important to understand that occasional difficulty in obtaining or maintaining an erection is not unusual. Many factors such as stress, tiredness, or the effects of alcohol can result in temporary ED. However, when these difficulties become persistent, it may indicate a more serious underlying health issue. Contrary to popular belief, erectile dysfunction is not just an old man's disease. A study published in the Journal of Sexual Medicine revealed that about half of men between the ages of 40 and 70 experience some degree of erectile dysfunction in their life. It's a condition that can affect men of all ages, and its prevalence increases with age. The physiology behind an erection is complex, involving the brain, hormones, emotions, nerves, muscles, and blood vessels. A disruption in any of these can lead to erectile dysfunction. For instance, if the blood vessels that supply the penis are not working properly, it may be difficult to get or keep an erection. This is often an early warning sign of more serious health conditions like heart disease or diabetes. Understanding the basics of erectile dysfunction is the first step towards acknowledging and addressing the problem. It's important to remember that ED is a treatable condition and not a reflection of masculinity or personal worth. It's also essential to seek medical help if you're experiencing persistent erectile dysfunction. Recognizing the symptoms early can make a huge difference in treatment and recovery. With that in mind, let's look at the symptoms that can indicate an impending erectile dysfunction. This isn't a topic to be brushed under the rug, as erectile dysfunction is a common issue that affects many adults. Now let's delve into the primary symptoms. They usually include difficulty in getting an erection, trouble in keeping an erection, and a reduced sexual desire. These symptoms can be subtle, creeping up on you without much notice. But it's paramount to pay attention to what your body is telling you. Consider difficulty in getting an erection. This is not about the occasional inability to achieve an erection, which can happen for various reasons like stress or fatigue. But when you find it consistently challenging to get an erection, it might indicate a looming problem. It's like your body sounding an alarm, asking for help. Next, we have trouble in maintaining an erection. This means that you can get an erection, but it doesn't last long enough for satisfying sexual activity. It's as if you're running a marathon, but you're running out of steam halfway through. It's frustrating, isn't it? Lastly, there's reduced sexual desire. This refers to a decreased interest in sexual activity. It's like your favorite ice cream flavor no longer excites you and you can't figure out why. It's perplexing and it can lead to feelings of inadequacy or guilt. These symptoms might manifest differently in different individuals. Some might experience all three, while others may only notice one or two. What's crucial is not ignoring these signs. Erectile dysfunction is not merely a bedroom issue. It can be a sign of underlying health problems, such as heart disease or diabetes. It can also affect your mental health, leading to anxiety or depression. It's a complex issue that requires a holistic approach to treatment. Remember, these symptoms are not a verdict. They are an opportunity. An opportunity to take action, seek medical advice, and reclaim your health. You are not alone in this journey, and help is available. These symptoms can be a wake-up call, urging you to seek medical advice. Now that we've identified the symptoms, what causes erectile dysfunction? 
You might find yourself asking this very question. Well, the answer is multifaceted, involving both physical and psychological factors. Let's start with the physical. Heart disease, for instance, is a significant risk factor. It hampers blood flow, which is crucial for achieving and maintaining an erection. Then there's diabetes, a condition that can damage nerves and blood vessels, again affecting blood flow to the penis. Obesity is another risk factor. It's linked to metabolic syndrome and complications that can lead to erectile dysfunction. Think of it like this. Obesity affects your body's machinery, and when the machinery doesn't run smoothly, it can lead to problems, including erectile dysfunction. Moving on to the psychological aspects, we find that stress, anxiety, and depression can also contribute to erectile dysfunction. These conditions can create a vicious cycle. Erectile dysfunction might cause stress or anxiety, which then further exacerbates the problem. Let's not forget about lifestyle choices. Smoking, for example, restricts blood flow to veins and arteries, and can over time cause chronic health conditions that lead to erectile dysfunction. Excessive alcohol consumption and substance abuse are also factors that can contribute to erectile dysfunction. Prescription medications for conditions like high blood pressure or depression can also cause erectile dysfunction. It's a delicate balance, and sometimes the treatment for one condition can trigger another. But here's the silver lining. Many of these risk factors are within our control. With lifestyle changes and medical treatment, it's entirely possible to manage them. By keeping an eye on our physical health, making healthier choices, and seeking help when we need it, we can reduce our risk of erectile dysfunction. It's important to remember that understanding the causes and risk factors is a crucial step towards prevention and treatment. So keep asking questions, keep seeking answers. The good news is, many of these risk factors are manageable with lifestyle changes and medical treatment. Erectile dysfunction is a common issue that many men face, but early detection can aid in successful treatment. It's important to remember that this isn't just about a physical condition, it's about mental and emotional well-being too. Many men find this topic difficult to discuss, but there's no need to feel embarrassed or alone. You're not the only one dealing with this, and there's a whole community out there ready to support and guide you through it. Many of you might be wondering, why does this matter to me? Well, it matters because it's about your health, your happiness, and your quality of life. It's about being able to enjoy intimate moments without worry or stress. It's about feeling confident and in control. Remember, your health matters, and it's never too early or too late to take steps to improve it. We hope this video has provided you with some valuable insights into the symptoms that could indicate potential erectile dysfunction in the future. But this is just the tip of the iceberg. There's a wealth of information out there, and we encourage you to explore it further, and that's where you come in. We wanna hear from you. If you have any thoughts, comments, or personal stories you'd like to share, please don't hesitate to drop them in the comment section below. Your experiences and insights can help others who are going through similar situations. Remember, it's okay to talk about these things. It's okay to ask questions. It's okay to seek help. And it's definitely okay to take care of your health. Open discussions about health issues like erectile dysfunction can remove the stigma around them and help pave the way for more understanding and support. So let's start a conversation. Let's help each other out. Let's break the silence. Remember your health matters. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more insightful health content. I'm Emma, signing off until next time.